The most common question from sellers of real estate that pay attention to the news right now that I've been hearing lately is do I still have to pay out a commission to the buyer's agent? I heard that I don't have to. And when I hear that, the answer to that is, did you hear that now or did you hear that five years ago? Because the answer was the same in both cases. You never had to. And the truth is you never legally were paying out the commission. You were allowing a, a co-op from your agent to share it with another agent if they brought the buyer. And so the answer to that question is you didn't have to, you never had to, and you still don't have to, but you may be putting yourself at a competitive disadvantage if you don't allow for a commission to be paid out to the buyer's agent. And here's why. Think about a buyer. A buyer is paying for moving costs and closing costs and all of these things. And many, many buyers do not have the money to also pay their agent. And so by eliminating the people in that pool, the buyer pool of people who can't afford to pay their agent, you put yourself at a competitive disadvantage because you decrease demand. And when you decrease demand, you decrease exposure. When you decrease exposure, you potentially put yourself in a situation where you're not going to get that record pricing which was the whole reason that you decided to sell in, to begin with right now. And so you may not love this system, but you benefited from this system when you bought your home you're in now. You're gonna benefit from it again when you buy the next home. And so the very easy answer to the question of do I have to, the answer is no, you don't have to, but you also don't wanna put yourself at a competitive disadvantage by not offering out.